Hello everyone, and welcome to Scrap Mechanic. In today's episode, we're going to be showing you how to make this vehicle here, which is all-wheel drive, and all the wheels are used for turning, instead of just two. Right. So to start off, you want to place down your lift, get the block that you want to build out of, make sure that your building tool is selected in the right direction, like flat and horizontal, as opposed to vertical, or the other vertical, and once again, you simply change that by pressing Q, and it'll cycle between them. So give yourself a little platform to work with, then press up with the arrow keys to lift up your lift. And you want to place bearings on every corner where you want your steering wheels to be. And then build a little path down. This allows you to place your wheels, and actually allows the wheels to turn. Otherwise, the wheel, let's say if we placed it here, wouldn't really be able to turn because it would hit this top block, which is stationary. These blocks down, these three below, are the ones that turn, not the top one. You can see where the bearing is by holding out your wiring tool. Right. Once that's done, simply place your wheels on. So, bearing on the sides that you want your wheels. And place the wheels down. Very simple. Oop. Walk around. Then we're going to lower it down and place our seat on. Once again, you can rotate the seat with Q if you wanted that to be the front. Then place the engine down. Try and keep things symmetrical so it's less likely to flip. Then pull out your wiring tool and you want to hook up your engine to your seat. If you don't do this and you turn on the engine, it'll just start powering things without any control and your vehicle will just fly off into the distance. So make sure it's always hooked up first, unless that's what you want. Right. Now hook up the turning wheels, so your steering wheels, the front ones and the back ones, to your seat. This will allow them to all be controlled. And then hook your wheels up to the engine. And this is going to be all wheel drive, so we'll hook up all of the wheels. Once again, you need to look at this turning thing. Because this direction is the front of our vehicle and we want that to be forward, we need to turn these so that they're going anti-clockwise. The other ones are already going anti-clockwise and just this one to be changed. Then, we can test to see if it works. So we'll put it up a little bit on the engine, not too powerful. Drop it, hop in the driver's seat, drive, and then we'll turn. As you can see, <laughs> it moves, but it doesn't do what we wanted it to do. Both the back wheels and the front wheels are turning in the same direction. But, they are working. So now, all we have to do is hop off, pull out our wiring tool, and then, if you're not sure which way to go, you just, you just test. So... We'll change both of these front wheels, just the front ones. We'll leave the back ones the same. And now, when we accelerate and press A, we actually turn to the left. As you can see, the front wheels turn left and the back wheels turn right, but that allows your entire vehicle to go into a circle. But, as you see, even on the second lowest bar, we still flip over. To fix that on a small vehicle like this, you can simply add extra wheels on, and you'll get... It might be a bit slower, I'm not sure exactly how this works in terms of uh, the weight, because if we press I to open inventory and hover over the wheel, this is a heavy weight. So it might actually slow down your vehicle, but at the same time, you're able to put the vehicle up at a faster speed, I guess, and it's less likely to flip over. As you can see, we can do full turns and it won't flip. That's pretty much it. You can mess around with the speeds to see how fast you can get it, you might even be able to go faster. Without it flipping, you can go a lot faster now with the extra wheels. And that's it. That's it done. I think in the next videos, I'll go over how suspension works. I'll try and figure out how all that works and let you guys know. Um, if there's any other type of vehicles you want to know how to build, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to figure out how to do it and make a nice little tutorial for you guys. Right. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.